A sunny, cloudless afternoon would be the backdrop of Arrowhead Stadium as the 13th ranked Pittsburgh State Gorillas travel north Kansas City, Missouri to face the number 7th ranked Bearcats of Northwest Missouri State for the renewal of the MIAA Fall Classic. This would be the Gorillas' first match in historic Arrowhead Stadium since 2012 as they hope to keep their perfect season alive and attempt to clinch top spot in the MIAA. However, the undefeated Bearcats would be hungry for the same goal as they would know full well that the winner of this monumental midseason matchup would control their destiny as the regular season begins to near its end. Pittsburgh State would win the toss and elect to receive the ball in the second half and despite Northwest Missouri getting to run their offense first, it would be the Gorillas to open the scoring as they took advantage of the Bearcat aggressiveness, with Brandon Malikas dropping the dime over the top of the defense to the arms of Lorenzo West as the senior from Lawton, Oklahoma explodes through the secondary. 78 yards for a huge score as the Gorillas grab the early 7-0 lead. The Bearcats didn't let the pressure from this early Gorilla offense derail their game plan though as a 48-yard rush by QB Brandon Wright set up the 6-yard shovel pass to tight end Marcus Andrews as Northwest answered the Gorilla score making it 7 apiece with 8 minutes left in the first quarter. The Bearcats would be ready for the Grillos offense on the next possession as a sack on the quarterback by Jackson Barnes would force the Grillos to give the ball back to the Bearcats on a punt, who in turn would score a touchdown on the ensuing drive, giving the Bearcats a 14-7 lead. Now let's jump to just under two minutes left in the quarter as the Bearcats have the ball as well as a 14-7 lead. Striving to catch the Gorillas off guard, Northwest would call the flea flicker, but the Gorillas weren't fooled as Josh Hornback high points the pass from Braden Wright and secures the acrobatic interception with just ticks left in the quarter, giving Pittsburgh State the great opportunity to tie the game. However, the Bearcats held strong as they would force another pump by Pittsburgh State, hoping to extend their slim lead. The interception didn't discourage the trick plays for Northwest as the Bearcats would run the double reverse end around to secure the edge as Amani Donadell runs 59 yards down the sideline untouched to grab the third unanswered touchdown for the Bearcats to increase their lead to 14. The Grills would hope to answer the run of 21 points for the Bearcats, however it would be Northwest who once again won the battle in the trenches as Horak would be stopped on third down, forcing the Grills to punt yet again. Now after a stop on third down by senior Chase Johnson, the Bearcats would again prove their aggressiveness as they would audible out of their field goal unit and line up Mike Hohensey behind center as the freshman from St. Charles, Illinois finds Marcus Andrews 35 yards over the middle of the field for the tight end's second touchdown of the game, making it a 28-7 lead for the Bearcats. Pittsburgh State would be desperate for a score before the end of the half and finally the Grills would find their offense as star wide receiver Lorenzo West and Matt Harmon connect 50 yards to the 10 yard line. Setting up the connection between Max Sexton and Bryce Murphy in the corner of the end zone giving the Grills a much needed answer to the Bearcats run of points as they cut the lead to 14. Northeast to attack on a field goal with seconds left giving the Bearcats a 17 point 31-14 lead at the break, and Pittsburgh State would hope to use their first possession in the second half to get back into this game. However, neither offense could produce anything in the third, as both defense flexed their muscles, holding each other scoreless in the third quarter. The defense of Teeter Totter would continue all the way to the five-minute mark of the fourth quarter, as the Grill is down 17 looked to muster up a late-game rally, and after clutch completions to Brenner Clemens, Bryce Murphy over the middle, and the senior Lindsay West, the Grills were in prime position to cut into this Bearcat lead. Northwest would hold strong at the goal line, but senior Jared Vincent would put an important three points on the board with a 22-yard kick. Now down by 14 with three minutes left, it was clear the Grills needed to pull out all of the stops and go for the onside kick, as Vincent lofted a high kick that would deflect off of a Bearcat and fall perfectly into the hands of Bryce Murphy, and the Grills were given new life after the heads-up play by the sophomore wide receiver. However, the Grill offense would fail to pick up a first down on four plays, turning the ball over to Northwest on downs. The Grills would force the Bearcats to a third down, but it would be quarterback Braden Wright who would administer the dagger as he runs 48 yards for the game-sealing touchdown as the Bearcats ride the wave of a 31-point first half past the Gorillas, handing Pittsburgh State their first loss of the season. With the loss, the Gorillas will head home next Saturday for a homecoming weekend as they hope to rebound and grab an important conference win over in-state rivals 
for a stay.